Welcome to your virtual lab today. I know it's not as good as in person and we're gonna do what we can do. So you're gonna get to see a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. And your job is to use the information that you were just given through that mini lecture um, to determine which category these fit into. Okay, you still have access to those PowerPoint notes. You still have access to the reading that I, I would like for you to do before you start the lab today. For your lab, you're going to be working with some other people in your breakout rooms to be able to have some discussions of, well, do you think that it's a droop or a palm and why? What are those characteristics? To do this, you need a document that you're gonna be turning in today. This is your, it's in Cami. It's linked in that Canvas assignment. Everything is together. And it's called the Fruit and Seed Lab. I recognize this one says fruit and nut. I'm gonna change it. But this is your data table. You're going to go to eight different stations. And by go to, I mean go through your Nearpod lesson and watch those different station videos because then that's gonna be you going to whatever. We're working with the virtual world. So let, let's take station one, for example. Let's say that it's an apple. It's not, but we're gonna use it as an example. So let's say that station one is an apple. You're gonna watch the little video about it. And then you're going to draw or write apple in here. I always recommend drawing in this class and labeling because it helps engage a different part of your brain. Doesn't matter if you're a good illustrator or drawer or not, it does not matter. So writing apple or drawing an apple and labeling it. And then you're going to identify which category of fruit or nut or seed it belongs into. So this is when you talk to your group members and you ask, okay, is it a droop? Is it a palm? Y'all figure it out. And then you're gonna write down some of those main characteristics. How did you identify it as that type of fruit? Okay, once you turn this in in Cami, here's the cool thing is that you get to use this on your test next week. So I'm not expecting you to memorize all of these different fruits or these different big words. I recognize it's a lot to take in, but if you have all of this information ready to go, you can use this on your test, which is pretty cool. So this is the smorgasbord of what you are going to be identifying today. So it is everything from zucchinis, apples, maple seeds, pistachios, bell peppers, lemons. So all of these have different categories that you're gonna take a look at and you're going to be identifying them in each one of your stations. Okay, good luck. Come on back to Zoom if you're not here already and I will see you soon.